it's Allison from Computers.Mom, and in this video I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to update an iPhone or an iPad. But first, why should you update your iPhone or iPad? Because every app you use has little flaws or bugs, and those bugs are opportunities for hackers. If you update, you make yourself safer, and you also get new features. It's basic maintenance, and it just takes a few quick steps, as you're about to see. Apple feels so strongly about updates that in 2019 they made them automatic by default. That is, your apps and devices update without you doing anything. But you may occasionally need or want to do an update yourself, so let's look at how that works. Before you do any kind of update, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi so you're not running up a big bill, and that your device is plugged in, or at least that it has a full battery. First step, it's a good idea to back up your device just in case you run into a problem with an update. Starting from the home screen, tap on the settings icon, it looks like a gear right here. In settings, tap on your name at the top of the list, tap iCloud, then scroll down and tap iCloud Backup. And finally, tap Backup Now. That's a lot of steps, but don't worry, we're going to give you the complete list at the end of this video. Backup can take a couple of minutes. I'm speeding it up here so we don't waste time. Okay, backup is done. Next step is to make sure that your operating system is up to date. That's iOS on an iPhone or iPad OS on an iPad, and it's the fundamental software that comes with your device and makes it work at all. So once again, we start by going into the settings. On the main settings menu, tap General, then tap Software Update. As you can see, automatic updates are already turned on, but there's an update available anyway. It just hasn't had a chance to install yet. So to get it started, we tap Download and Install right here. For security, the device asks me to validate. I'm going to type my passcode. On your device, you may use Touch ID or Face ID. It's all the same. Once I've approved this, the process begins. It can take a few minutes, and sooner or later, your iPad will restart, and you'll see the installation progress bar running like this. And when it's done, we're back at the home screen. Last step is to make sure your apps are up to date. This time, instead of the settings icon, we go to the App Store, which is this blue and white icon. Now tap your profile icon at the top right corner of the screen, and you'll see information about your account. Scroll down to see what updates are available. On this particular iPad, the apps are all up to date, so it just says Open next to them. If there are updates available, you'll see something like this. You can tap here to update all, or tap the Update button for any particular app that you want. So that's it. You're done. It's not very hard, but it's a lot of little steps. So here's a recap of everything we just did. The backup, updating the operating system, and updating the apps. Thanks for your time. Please feel free to leave comments and questions for us, and click like if you found this helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more Computers.Mom videos.